baseball. Such an American tradition, dating back to the days of the American Civil War. And still, today it is owned by big people with a lot of money and only played by the best of the best. And it really sucks if the team you really like can never win a ball game. Well, folks, we are going back to a simpler time over a hundred years ago, where the year is 1907, and the world is a much different place. The date is the 8th of October, 1907, and the world was very different. You see, the day before, in France, the first biplane plane was flown, ever. A few months ago, the Tsar had abolished the parliamentary system in Russia, helping lead way to a civil war. And also, the Triple Entente was formed, which would end up sealing the alliance fate of the First World War. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about good old baseball. And you know which my team is. It's the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit Tigers had a great season that year, becoming the ninth best record ever in Tiger history, and the which out of the top ten records, none of which won a World Series. But anyway, it was a simpler time in 07, where it was much easier to get in the World Series. All you had to do was win, have the best record in the league, which the Tigers did, at a nice, simple 92-58. to 58. However, one of the big highlights was against their league rivals, the Athletics, which were in Oakland because reasons. But on the 27th of September, they managed to beat them, sealing their fate and going to the World Series against a skyrocketing Chicago Cubs. The Cubs had a fantastic season in 07, recording over 100 wins at 107 and placing 17 games above the Pittsburgh Pirates. However, it is now the 8th of October, Game 1 of the World Series in Chicago. I'd like to welcome you to West Side Grounds, home of the 4th Annual World Series in the year of our Lord, 1907, where it looks like we're going to have a great matchup between the American League pennant winners, the Detroit Tigers, appearing in their first ever World Series, and the Chicago Cubs, who are making their second appearance after losing last year to their crosstown rivals, the White Sox. Yes, the White Sox used to be a good team, just like the Tigers. Anyway, we have two good pitchers. The main star of the game is Bill Donovan of the Tigers, who would end up pitching the entirety of the game. But however, Bill Donovan starts off the bottom of the fourth with a walk to Frank Chance. This doesn't seem good. However, with a sacrifice ground out, Frank Chance is now on second base. And with a, with a single into left field from Johnny Kling, that will bring in the first run of the game. And while it may not be looking good for the Tigers, look on the bright side. It's only a one nothing game. However, while people are able to get on base, no run will score for the next four innings. It's looking pretty down for the Tigers, who are only in their first ever appearance. However, it is looking good as we head to the top of the eighth. The Tigers are still down one to nothing. Davy Jones will, is able to get a single and steal second base. And then Germany Schroffer is able to reach on an air. So there's a runner on third and first. And one Sam Crawford hits a single in the right field and brings in two runs. The Tigers are up two to one. And after a fielder's choice from the legendary Georgia Peach, Ty Cobb, Claude Rossman is able to fly out and bring in Crawford, bringing the Tigers' lead to 3-1. to one. And, and also, in the next inning, the Tigers' winning percentage would reach 95%. And yet, as we know, that's not how the game ends. To the bottom of the ninth, the score is the same. All, all Bill Donovan has to do is finish off the game and he'll get his first ever World Series win as a pitcher. However, Frank Chance, by chance, hits another single, this time the right, and with a hit by pitch to Harry Steinfeld, two runners are on, and after a bunt pop fly, there's one out, and then there's an error. Johnny Evers is able to get on base, which will load the bases. Donovan has one out, and the base is loaded. Frank Schultz 
hits a ground out to the first baseman, which allows a run to score, which is immediately followed by an error by the catcher, which allows a second run to score. But soon after, the third out is made by t catching a runner trying to steal, and it looks like we're going to extra innings. However, the game would just chug on for three more innings until the game would be called off for darkness, with the score still tied at 3-3. Three to three. The biggest highlight being Bill Donovan pitching all 12 innings for the Detroit Tigers. The 8th of October set a good pace for the Chicago Cubs in the 07 World Series, but not for the Tigers. The Tigers would score three runs in the next four games and get swept, air quotes there, by the Cubs, making the Cubs win their first World Series in Detroit, of course. And what about the Tigers? Did they ever return to the World Series? Yes, they did. The same two teams would meet each other in 08, where the Tigers would win one game to Chicago's four. And then the Tigers would come again in 09, only to lose a game seven to the Pirates. And the Tigers would not appear into the World Series until their first ever World Series victory in 35. Two more ties would be recorded in World Series history, but as the lights of the night appeared in baseball stadiums, ties became rare, rare things that only occurred under strange weather conditions. And that, folks, is the only kind of tie in World Series history.